This is the third video lecture on ray optics and optical instrument. In the second video lecture, we have derived mirror equation for concave mirror. And this was the equation number one. Now, for image formation analysis, we define a very important physical quantity called linear magnification. Linear magnification is defined as the ratio of the height or the size of the image to that of the object. Now, from equation number one, M, linear magnification, is given by minus h dash by h equal to minus v by u with the sign convention and m linear magnification is for spherical mirrors is the ratio of h dash to h where h dash is the height of the image and h is the height of the object is given by minus v by u now Modulus of linear magnification may be of three types. First case, when it is greater than one, the image is magnified. Linear magnification indicates the comparison of the size or the image, size or the height of the image and the object. So mod m is greater than one indicates that the image is magnified. Second case, if the mod m is equal to 1, <coughs> then the image size is same as the object size. And if m is less than 1, then the image is diminished. Now, the image formation is very important for analysis of optical instrument as well as solving numerical problems. Now, there are six cases for concave mirror as well as convex mirror. First case is object is between pole and focus, means within focal length. Object is at F, exactly at focal length. Third case, object is between center of curvature and focus. Case 4, object is at center of curvature. Fifth, object is beyond center of curvature. And sixth, object is at infinite distance. So there are six cases for concave mirror and six cases for convex mirror. We will discuss one by one. Now I will consider the first case that is when the object is kept within focal length that is between focus and pole for concave mirror. So first we will find out the nature of the image using mirror equation and then we'll verify it using ray diagram. So in this case, since it is within focal length, u is with sign convention minus f minus x, where x is less than f and it is a positive quantity. f is negative for concave mirror, so we have to find out v. So by mirror equation, 1 by v plus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f. So 1 by v is 1 by f minus 1 by u putting the values, we will get v is equal to f, f minus into f minus x divided by x, which is positive. So it indicates that the image is virtual and erect. Now for the size comparison, we use a linear magnification, m equal to minus v by u, by putting the value of v and u, we get uh, f by x, and the mod m is greater than 1 as x is less than f. So the, the nature of the image is virtual, erect and magnified. And by ray diagram it is verified because we have taken a ray the object. AB is the object which is kept between pole and focus. A ray parallel to the principal axis it will pass through focus. It is it is the produced backward and any ray through center of curvature will be normal. So it will be traced in the backward direction. They are meeting, appear to meet at this point. So this will be the virtual image. A dash, V dash is the virtual image. AB is the object and since clearly it is erect, 
virtual and magnified as shown by the mirror equation. Now we consider the case number one for convex mirror. So when the object is kept within focal length. So here u is equal to minus f minus x where x is less than f and x is a positive quantity. In case of convex mirror f is positive. So we have to find out v. We have to find out v. Using mirror equation we have 1 by v is equal to 1 by f minus 1 by u. So 1 by f plus 1 by f minus x. Therefore v is equal to f f minus x 2f minus x and which is positive. So it is the image is virtual and erect. Now magnification is minus v by u which is clearly f by 2f minus x by putting the value of v and u and this is clearly less than 1 mod m is less than 1 as x is less than f. So the image is virtual erect and diminished smaller in size than the object by mirror equation. Now this is verified with the help of ray diagram as shown that the image is virtual erect and diminished. AB is the object. So I have taken a ray parallel to the principal axis after reflection it is diverging out from the focus virtual focus and a ray through center of curvature will remain undeviated. So they are intersecting at this point therefore a virtual diminished erect image is formed. Now the five remaining five cases for concave mirror and five cases for convex mirror is the home task. You will try at home. First you will find out the nature of the image using mirror equation and verify it by the ray diagram. If both tallies then your analysis is correct. Now we we'll discuss refraction at a plane interface separating two medium. This is uh, medium 1 where the speed of light is V1. This is medium 2 where the speed of light is V2 and this is the normal drawn. This is the incident ray. I ray is the incident ray and with respect to normal incident ray is making an angle I. This is called angle of incidence and the refracted ray. This is the refracted ray and this angle between the normal and the refracted ray is called angle of refraction. Now the phenomena of refraction is when a ray of light travels from one medium to another optically different medium, then it bends from its original path. This is called refraction of light as shown in the diagram. Now laws of refraction for refraction is important. There are two laws. First law is incident ray normal drawn at the point of incidence and the refracted ray all lie in the same plane. Second law is more popularly known as Snell's law which states that the ratio of the sign of the angle of incidence to the sign of the angle of refraction is equal to the ratio of speed of light in medium 1 to the speed of light in medium 2 is a constant for a particular pair of medium and this is called refractive index of material of medium 2 with respect to that of medium 1. Now we will discuss two cases for refraction. Case number one, when the light ray travels from rarer medium to a denser medium. For example, say air to water. Air is medium one, that is rarer and denser medium two, that is water. So this is the incident ray, angle of incidence, angle of refraction, this is the refracted ray, normal. By Snell's law, sin i by sin r equal to v1 by v2 equal to n21 is greater than 1. Uh, it is just like optical uh, normal density this is called also called optical density. Now one way is v1 is greater than v2 means the speed of light in rarer medium is more than the speed of light in denser medium and another one is sin i is greater than sin r so i is greater than r because sine value increases with the value of angles. So clearly refracted ray bends towards the normal as shown in the diagram. 
and the angle of deviation that is delta angle between the incident ray and the refracted ray direction is equal to i minus r now this is the second case when light ray travels from denser to rarer case number 2 when the light ray travels from denser to rarer say from medium number 1 that is water to medium number 2 that is rarer that is say air now weissnell's law again sin i by sin r equal to v1 by v2 equal to n21 and in this case n21 is less than 1 so sin i is less than sin r therefore i is less than r and therefore the refracted ray bends away from the normal and in this case deviation delta dash is r minus i